Namaste to all you beautiful souls. Welcome to Tarot with Rachita. Today there will be two videos out. The new moon meditation is linked in the description box down below, which you can listen and meditate on new moons or any other time, but it will be focused on new moons and new beginnings. Okay, let's begin. Today's reading is a tarot reading um, about observing and feeling the emotions of each person. Not so much about union, but about the individual self. And in the end, we'll focus on the union. Okay, this is a red jasper cabochon macrame pendant, which I am just showing you all for today because the energy is about grounding for this particular reading is what I am feeling, which is why I am showcasing this pendant. If you would like it, you can either purchase it at marakihilas.com or Instagram at marakihilas. Let's get into the reading. If you feel like this reading resonates with you, uh, you can always like this video and comment on it so other people will find it more easier to find these videos for them to watch and get guidance from. We'll start with the Divine Feminines today and read them as they come. Divine Feminines are not feeling as strong in power and uh, the strongest self. They feel like there's something more that they can do and they know what they have to do already. Uh, just working on being their best version, basically. They're starting a new journey, um, catching new fish in the sea, maybe looking for someone to start a life with. That could be one indication. And the other one is finding new opportunities or new ways of abundance or a new career form as well. Okay. And then they're also in the energy of the Empress, which is very exciting, uh, very sensual, but embracing the sensual side in a very feminine way. So a lot of feminines have been feeling masculine very recently and over a period of time. And now they're beginning to embrace the feminine side, accept it, accept the belonging, accept uh, themselves just as they are. Let's pick one more card for the feminines and then move to the masculine. Divine feminines, do not overthink. Now when I say divine feminines, I mean not the gender but the energy. So you could be male, you could be female. Okay, but your energy could be Feminine dominant or masculine dominant, which is what I'm talking about in these readings. All right. So divine feminines, you are on a spiritual path. You are coming to full on abundance, but do not overthink it and get proper sleep, eat proper food, take care of your health. And if you're not getting sleep, then see what is to be done about it. Okay. There's one more card for the Divine Feminines, which is basically talking about the Twin Flame journey and how the two have been changed so, changed so tight that the bond is just there. Um, even if you feel attached, you feel like there's always going to be this attachment to this particular person. Okay? And you're wondering about why do I feel detached? Why do I not think about this person? Is he or she not my twin flame? Am I just obsessing over this person? Or is it genuine? Because I don't feel attached. I don't think about this person. But I'm not sure whether I should pay attention to it because I feel very drawn to this person in a very weird way. Okay, now let's move to the Divine Masculine's energy space. Look at what they're thinking about, what they're feeling, and also about what they want to say to their Divine Feminines. Also, we'll get a confirmation about how each person is in the next set. Okay, so Divine Masculine, you're probably also thinking about starting some kind of a new journey based on your feminine and masculine strength okay using both to conquer what you have been working towards now 
the divine masculines are in a place of confusion or they feel like they have two choices but they've already made up their mind okay and one of the most dominant choices which is the one they're probably uh, thinking about a lot is the one that they've already always been wanting to do since childhood so it is whatever the divine masculines you guys are thinking about is probably something that you've always wanted to do from the bottom of your heart something that you are really passionate about passionate about something that you really really love to do something that you absolutely um you know it brings out your inner child the playfulness but as well as the maturity both together comes out and allows you to just embrace the self you are on the right path you've already made the right decision for yourself okay so you are the knight in shining armor you are moving towards a very strong line of abundance while it is still a rocky rough road you can still master it by allowing yourself to work a little bit on the background and foundation of what you're working towards you will receive the justice for all that you're doing so do not worry put in the work your hard work will definitely pay off divine masculines okay so there's a lot of questions coming out as these cards are i mean as these cards have been picked out the divine masculines are just going like like there's a lot of energy there's a lot of questions that's just coming up now that they've got the confirmation okay as i said you're working on the strength of the feminine and masculine side so you need your kind hearted nurturing self to be there for your masculine side so you need both the sides from within to come out so that you're able to balance both of it and move towards wherever you're headed towards okay okay now let's see who is this divine feminine what is she like some um divine masculines may connect to their divine feminines by knowing what they are and some divine feminines will confirm that they are the divine feminines by knowing this we'll also read this for the divine masculine you can also comment below on what you want your twin flame to know or what you want to know about your twin flame and we will add that in the next reading Okay so there's a lot about the spiritual dance so the divine feminines are always about the spiritual dance of life like connecting not only emotionally or physically but on a spiritual level and only if the divine feminine feel like they connect on a spiritual level will they be able to connect mentally emotionally and physically emotional and physical connection the mind bond is not everything So they are someone who brings out the light in the darkness. They feel like how much ever darkness is around them and they probably have a dark side to themselves, but they use it in a very positive way. They use their darkness. They're very aware of it. They bring out the positivity in every situation. And when they feel like this is just not right, they know this is just not right. they'll say this is just not right they also reflect the divine masculine side so if you see a lot of masculine traits in the divine feminine that is because the divine feminines are mirroring the divine masculine's properties at the same time they are very very feminine which is why they have found a balance between the masculine and feminine energies within themselves okay and if they have not reached there yet they are moving towards reaching towards this not everyone is at this stage this is more of an advanced feminine level but most of the divine feminines are the light in the darkness they use their negative or dark traits to bring out the positivity within themselves and also their surroundings they're very nurturing they're very 
helping and caring they are born leaders so they can lead a community without acting like a leader so they are the chosen leader by the people around them because everybody knows that they are capable of leading the entire community of people or community of healers they, they can do something that they start on their own they'll be the master of their own life the architect of their own life the pilot of their own life okay they are very drawn to astrological symbols zodiac signs the sun rising moon rising they're very drawn to water and earth at least during this time during this particular reading they are very drawn to water they're submerging everything within themselves at the same time they're allowing it to flow okay let's read how the divine masculines are at this point and time They are wanting to connect with the Divine Feminine side of themselves through their Divine Feminine counterpart. So they want to connect with their personal Feminine side by bringing out the Feminine counterpart, their Divine counterpart. So they feel like they will influence or induce a feminine energy within themselves so that they are able to rise up even higher and become stronger within themselves because of the divine feminine who is this divine masculine how does he feel how does he look uh, what is he like There's so many, I think there are a lot of Divine Masculines, so this might not completely connect with you. You can always get a personal reading if you feel like you need a reading for yourself, because this is a very generalized reading. Okay, so this could be a person who take risks, takes risks, okay, stands on the edge of fire. Stands of the edge of a mountain, stands at the edge of a mountain and is very confidently standing there. There may be a little bit fear, but at the same time, they're like, I can do this. I can take this risk and I absolutely love the thrill of the risk. They are very fire dominant and the feminines are very water dominant. So it could be a fire water combination we're talking about or... Um, it also could be air and earth. Again, they want to bring out the nurturing side within themselves, the Divine Masculines. They are working towards it. And yes, absolutely. So they're allowing the Divine Feminine to kind of induce them to bring out the energy from inside and not only on the facade. So they're completely focusing on bringing a complete new energy and phase of life for themselves. They're starting a new beginning in their old journey, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's get some answer card for union and also what the Divine Feminine, Masculine and Union should work on. Feminines, successful completion. This is a time of incredible accomplishment uh, you're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you have done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. Soon you'll begin a new journey. But for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. That's exactly right, Divine Feminines. Divine Masculines, Two of Abundance. Life may be feeling a little out of balance right now. You could be working multiple jobs or trying to make a change to your dream career. It is important to keep things light. Stay in touch with your inner child. 
make your work as playful as possible. Multitasking with a positive attitude brings success. For the union, we have number 11. So I think for a lot of you, you're coming very, very close to your union. Okay. You have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, the both of you. But there is no problem you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if the right answer to tell someone is no. If you feel like you need to say no to someone, say no. Say, I don't want to be a part of this. I don't feel like going out today. I don't want to be a contributor to this particular thing. Say no if you have to. Do not just give because you feel like you need to give or the other person will feel no. Stand true to what you feel and things will go exactly right in a string, right? So this is all for today's reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the new moon video, which is linked in the description box down below. My website is marakihealers.com. Uh, this is for crystals and tarot readings. For yoga and other workshops like chakra healing and how to read tarot, you can check out learning.marakihealers.com, which will give you a lot of information about those particular things, it is current uh, under construction. You will also receive a lot of information about yoga classes over there. Sending you all the love, light and positive energy. Thank you and Namaste.